Hello. It is the end of the first day. I am beyond, beyond exhausted, but it was a great day. It's definitely different having two classes. It's kind of refreshing, like, you know, you teach in the morning and then you do it again in the afternoon. So that was pretty cool. Um, I guess I just want to quickly do like an overview of what each day is going to look like or what it did look like if it's like today and I'm not recording till the end of the day. But um, yeah, I guess I'll just dive in. So the first thing I had the students do, I have like a pile of things here, was we worked on, today is my first day of school and these were crowns that they worked on. And then the final product, I know this is gonna make me look fabulous, looked like this. So this was the final product. Um, so they were really happy to work on crowns and I just, you know, Similar to here, I just cut construction paper and we put it around them and measured and they really liked that and it was really cool to like see them develop rainbows and then some of them would like, I'm going to flip this over, some of them, oh this is upside down too, awesome, <laughs> they colored the wrapper black to make it look like Crayola crayons, so I just thought that was pretty, pretty cool of them to do. Then, um, shortly after we worked on that, and like we did morning meeting first, I should clarify, like a little get together and like about your teacher. But then we read a letter from your teacher on the first day of school by Shannon Olson. And the activity that we did with it was the, this is me, my name is. And so I haven't really figured out my doc cam yet. And then I was fortunate enough to have a para taking photos on my phone. So I couldn't um, like use my phone with um, the Apple TV to use it as a doc cam. Cause you know, you could technically do that. So I showed them mine, which is here. I know this is a stunning replica. And basically, I'll flip it over again. I spoke to them about finding their people colors. And so you can actually see here on that pink and then the blue, every table has a container of people colored crayons. And so we just spoke about how when you make yourself, you may want to flip your paper over and check skin color, see what matches you, that you know you should have a nose and eyebrows. I said, because I was wearing my sunglasses, I drew those. Um, and then we also talked about when you write your name, that because you are important in your proper, your first letter gets an uppercase letter, but everything else is lowercase. And so I immediately saw changes because I had them put their name on the back of the crown and a lot of them were writing all uppercase. And so it was really cool to see that shift happen nearly immediately where they were copying what they saw on their name tag. And like a couple of kids even like freaked out and they were like, I can't find my skin color. And I was like, okay, like, hold on. I said, I'll come over and help you. And like one boy, we ended up mixing two colors and he was so funny. He's like, I have to do that for like my whole face. And I was like, yeah, dude, I was like, do the lighter color and then go over it with the darker color and like see it. And he was like, okay. And I was like, how about like you draw the eyes first, the nose, the mouth, and you have less to color in. And I was like, do you see like mine? The eyes are white. Cause I drew the eye circles first. And he was like, oh, okay. So like, that was pretty funny. So I gave them a while to work on that. And then I told them I had like a little surprise for them. And conveniently, just so conveniently, my morning power and my afternoon power were able to like subtly create the jitter juice. And then while I was reading the story, like they were doing that for me. So like the kids were so into the story and just being on the other side of the room, they didn't see the para. But we read First Day Jitters by Julie Dannenberg. Dannenberg. And so we enjoyed that. I told them there was like a little twist at the end. They were like, like an ice cream twist. And I was like, no, like the ending is not what you expect. And so they thought it was very funny that Sarah Jane Hartwell is the teacher and not a student. And then we had the jitter juice and I told them the sprinkles, like that I like non pareils that I put in confirm that the jitters will go away. And then like two girls in the morning class were like, now I have even more energy. And I was like, well, good thing you're searching classrooms in 20 minutes and then you're going to recess. So like, if it really hits you, you know, my co-teacher has to survive 20 minutes, but it was really interesting. The two groups are very different and that's not a bad thing. They're just different. Um, I'm so tired. Like, I just want to go face plant my bed and I probably will do that. But the last thing I want to share is a flip chart came like our PTO, which seems to be like the kindest group of people ever. Um, we were able to send them like a wish list and they purchased some things for us. So I'm going to flip this around. I just wanted to make sure I was past like student names. Sorry if that was really close, but we now have an easel in here which is awesome because tomorrow, one of the activities we're doing is brainstorming how to help the main character. And I didn't want to have to write it on the whiteboard. And because I haven't like totally figured out the doc cam because it just wasn't a necessity last week. 
which I guess it should have been, but it wasn't. Um, I'm really happy to have the easel now that I can just write on and we can come up with reasons on how to help the character, which they can then transfer. Um, they all want to start science. They're like, when are we doing science? And I'm like, S soon, just like not this week. Like I have to teach you school, but yeah, it was great. And so because I'm so prepared, I get to leave right now. Like, I mean, the kids left like 30 minutes ago, but then I had a boy lose his backpack. And so we went around the whole school with his family trying to figure out where he could have put it and it's gone. So I don't know, hopefully someone realizes they accidentally took it and they return it tomorrow, but I'm going home to sleep. I am so tired. This was a great day, but oh my gosh, I just really need some sleep. So day one was a, a success, but it's very tiring and I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, even though I'm so tired. I, I will get more sleep and come in tomorrow, bright and cheery eyed. So hope if you're having your first day soon that it goes great. If you already had it, I hope your school year's off to a great start, but uh, I'll check in soon. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, um, I have this propped on a planner, a laptop, container of push pins, a book library stamper, and leaning against a water bottle. So I'm hoping you can hear me. It is nearing the end of the day. Um, I'm wearing a highlighter to help my English language learners matches my shirt. Um, so we have an hour and a half long after school like professional development today. So I wanted to quickly make this before I pick my kids up from specials in a little bit and just show you guys what we did today. So definitely smoother today. Um, like transitions are a little bit better. They lined up a little faster. They cleaned up the room phenomenally. I just realized I'm on front camera. So I'll have to make another video where I show you how clean this room is. But we did two stories today and then worked in our like early finisher packet that I made, um, which I'll grab a copy of. But basically, first things first, we read our class as a family. We just talked about how this looks very similar to the story we read yesterday, which was a letter from your teacher on the first day of school because same author and illustrator paired up. Then we completed this worksheet, which says draw our classroom family. And then there's a sentence frame. I can show my classroom family that I care by blank. And our easel came yesterday, which could not have come at a better time. And so we brainstormed how to be a family. And we talked about how family is not just the people that you're related to by blood. And like, there's a little message on the back of the story too, that says that. And the story also reinforces that you spend most of your time at school when you're this age, you know, seven hours a day, 180 days a year. That's half the year. Yeah, that's half the year. Then we read or we listened to Recess Queen on YouTube because I didn't have a copy of it, but I also have read them three or four stories already. So I thought it'd be kind of nice to just like watch the story, listen to someone else's voice. And then it also kind of gave me some time to work with my power. We put Velcro dots down for name tags in the morning class. And when my afternoon power came, um, her and I talked about how to set up the laptops because once they dived into the independent work, we were doing laptop setup because we're giving our eye ready diagnostic starting tomorrow. So we watched Recess Clean. Again, went back to the easel, did some raining on our brain. It was brainstorming. How could we be nice to me and Jean? And so then we completed this worksheet, how to be a recess friend. And so um, we said, you know, after reading Recess Clean, draw a picture of you being a good friend to me and Jean and write how you can be a nice friend at recess. So um, we're also required to send things home every week of student work. So I'm actually gonna be sending both of these work samples home because it's just back to school stuff and like not necessarily something that I need to get data from them on other than just like looking at their writing, reading, copying abilities. Um, but it's definitely going smoother. Um, I just spent what feels like my entire life plugging in laptops because I have 50 kids and only so many outlets. And then like, I didn't string the laptop cart because that's just a lot of work on one person to put together. And then in two weeks, send the cart home or send the cords home from the cart. And then also the cart only holds 40 laptops. I have 50 kids. If it was like, it held 48 laptops or I had, it held 50 and I had 52 kids, whatever, let two charge on the side, let five charge on the side. But 10 charging on the side is basically the same as me having 50 charging on the side right now. So I have these nice little workstations set up and I just keep alternating like, oh, we're charging only the bottom ones right now. Oh, now we're charging second in the pile, third. And so we're gonna just keep that on a loop um, until tomorrow.
but um, I'm going to pick them up some specials and a few. I'm going to make some copies. Um, we are getting ready for centers this week, and so I have these fantastic task cards, and then she comes up with like a generic answer key, or like a solving page, I should say, like an answer page that they can solve their work in for the task cards. And then there's also an answer key one. And I just saw this, so I just started talking about it. Otherwise, I would have the task cards here and the answer keys and things like that to show you. But I'm really excited to start implementing this. I may do like a soft rollout on Friday with this and just see how the kids do. Be like, all right, we're gonna prepare our first math center. Like you guys are dying to do math. So here's some math. So yeah, we'll see how it comes out. But I think it'll be really cute. Like once we get into the rhythm of it and they have their baseline down of what this one particular center looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna go make these copies real quick and then go pick my kids up from specials and spend an hour and a half in PD. Yay! <laughs> Bye. Hello, I think this is on me. It is Wednesday. We had a great day today. We had a real fire drill, like someone pulled you know, the drill, whatever that happens, we share a building with a middle school, so who knows if they did it or one of our kids, but my class was outside for almost 30 minutes. They did an awesome job. That being said, my morning class did not get nearly as much as my afternoon class, but we did just a few quick activities today that I'll share. So first things first, we read Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hankies, and our first activity that we did was this two-sided, or not two-sided, two-part worksheet, and so it says, I bloom when I wilt when and so we talked about when we bloom and when we wilt so I'm going to quickly show you a blank copy because I'm not really sure whoops if you saw what it looked like with me holding it like that and then I was scared I was blocking the microphone like hearing me microphone not being able to receive me because the paper was in front of my mouth I'm doing great with words okay so I bloom when I wilt when and we just kind of talked about, you know, sentence writing and how we're going to stop at chrysanthemum. She's telling us to stop our sentence and go to the next line. We talked about wilting and that bloom and wilt are words for flowers, but we can also use those words when describing our feelings. And so then I drew this one and I showed them how, you know, when we sound things out, it's okay if we spell things wrong. Um, I explained that I draw pictures with pencil first that I can go over and color them. Then we switched to our online reading and math diagnostic website iReady. So they started their math test, fire drill. Afternoon class though, I gave them like 30, 40 minutes to like learn the site, take their test to start, like no one finished it. I wasn't expecting them to, but because I wanted them to have a brain break and not just feel like overwhelmed by testing, we said, okay, well, Chrysanthemum taught us the importance of our name. And so I showed them this worksheet here all about my name and we said we're gonna put our name here our portrait our consonants vowels letters first letter last letter and then we'll cut these out and I'm thinking I'm going to put those we have like a, a bulletin tack line you know, like you know just a cork line to put student work so I think I might just hang those up for the month of August because we don't have to have anything up officially until September or like mid and September so I thought this would just be a nice thing like and all about who's in the room and I don't know if I can fit all 50 kids, but I'll fit as many as I can. Maybe I'll overlap them. And then just quickly showing you a completed copy. Um, so I showed them mine. Obviously, I worked so diligently on this. Um, but this will be the final copy. But um, they did so well with routines and procedures today. I was really impressed with their ability to keep their caddies clean. I see one pencil on the floor right now. So 50 kids were in this room today and there's one pencil on the ground. I'll pick my battles, like that's fantastic. Um, we had a grade level meeting today. More kids did their job today because our morning meeting focus was how to take care of each other. And so we talked a little bit more about the importance of jobs and how doing those helps our classmates. And my biggest task tomorrow is probably gonna be getting Friday folders ready. So every Friday we send home student work and announcements and such. So I have to just stuff their mailboxes right now. I have a bunch of papers that are going to go home and it's just got to be done. But I'm going to head out and I think tomorrow's going to be another awesome day with them. Like they're really doing a good job. So that's pretty cool. All right. Happy Wednesday. Bye. Hello. I'm doing a quick combined video of Thursday and Friday. 
I have ordered a new cell phone holder adapter, whatever you want to call it, for my tripod so that I can stop having different angles and different volumes of me speaking because, you know, the microphone's going in and out based on where my hand is while holding it. But a quick overview of Thursday and Friday. Thursday was really similar to Wednesday, but yesterday we read A Case of Tattle Tongue and we continued working on a bug and a wish. So we had our picture of something that bugs us, or I'm sorry, a picture of a problem you have solved. The other side was a bug and your wish. So that was really good. Um, I'm gonna turn over for a second so you can see that. So like I said, draw a problem picture. Oh my goodness. Draw a picture of a problem you have solved before. And then on the back side, it bugs me when this thing happens. And if it's regarding a person, I wish you would please blank. So we talked a little bit about problem and solution as well with this. Okay. Then Friday, that's today. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we read, I'm sure that was a great angle for a second there. So same author, Julia Cook, we read My Mouth is a Volcano and how the main character, Lewis, thinks he is erupting because he doesn't realize it's the word interrupting. So we did this worksheet that says my mouth is a volcano and what they're going to do if they feel like they're going to erupt or interrupt. So one more time. Here is the blank copy. My mouth is a volcano. And then there is a typo. Um, I can't do anything about it other than maybe draw them in on a blank copy. Um, so then this was my copy. And we talked about finger spaces. We talked about sounding out what we hear, that it's okay to make mistakes. I did have an activity planned for the pigeon has to go to school because it's the first week of school. There was no time to get to this activity, which honestly I'm very happy about. I would rather have too much to do than idle time where they're causing a ruckus in the room. Again, the room is so clean. I did clean up a little bit of the room because we did our first folder pack up today and it was the hottest mess we've been all week. Granted, I threw a lot at them at once and they did adjust pretty well, but I'm gonna quickly just pan around the room so you can see the differences. So over in this back corner, there was the um, cube organizer here next to the bathroom door, the small one underneath it, which the small one is still there. And then next to the rainbow cart was our mailbox unit. And so the purple table basically just got swallowed whole because of that. They were eaten alive by the children as they engulfed the area. Some of them forgot that I said to pack up at your desk, like take all your papers and pack up at your desk. They were like packing up there in front of the mailboxes. So that was a hot mess. So even though I don't exactly love it, the mailboxes are here. I may not keep them facing me. I may actually turn them around and face the door. I'm gonna see how the sink and water situation works out. And if kids start to start like uh, sticking their fingers in crap. Um, but I'm gonna continue prepping the rest of the week in a minute, but I will share what we are doing. So I already put in my Monday draw, like that's how productive I've been after school today. So I have these do now worksheets from Angie Olson, Lucky Little Learners. And so there's a row for each day of the week. And then um, we'll go over it. This will just be their warm up. Like literally you have two, three minutes to answer these questions. Okay, bring it down to the carpet if you need to, or stay at your seat. I'm putting it underneath the board. And we're gonna talk about why the answers are what they are. And then I'm beginning to print some center work. Center's gonna be really slow this week. Um, so I have this worksheet here and there's another one on the back that I can show you. That'll be for the first two days and we have off on Friday. And then Wednesday and Thursday's worksheets are here. So I'm gonna flip that over so you can see it as well. I'm gonna move all these picture books that I have to go put away. They were in my file drawer, if that counts. So this will be for Monday. Um, we do Bridges Math, so these are supplemental worksheets. And then the back and then same for Wednesday, Thursday. So again, a worksheet to go with the session and then this. And so um, I don't love wasting paper like this, but until we understand how to do centers, they have to be separated. And I thought a packet of four was just too much, but normally I'll just do a two-sided because they're gonna go to this center when centers are truly in action only twice a week. So they'll have to do front and back when they have it rather than getting a chance to do one sheet each day. Um, to prepare for centers other than those worksheets, I have our scoot game ready for the week. So this is subitizing and I have to go quickly make a modified answer sheet for my different ability students. And then the last thing I wanna show you before I 
log off, at least out of this video, is this system here that I have with my drawers. And so as I'm done with things throughout the week, like it might be originals, it might be my version of something, extra copies, what have you, everything goes in there. So I just took the picture books out of there. And so I don't forget, I'm actually gonna put them back in right now because I 100% will forget to put them away if I don't put them here. And so I'll empty that every Friday. Um, anything that's due for the next week is in here. This is actually for two weeks from now because I was being productive. Monday's um, review sheets are ready. And then um, anything that might need to be copied throughout the week. So like here are all those center papers again. I left the originals in here so that when someone inevitably loses it, I have um, copies ready to be made once a power comes in or I have, you know, lunch or prep. So I'm gonna finish um, organizing all these things, get the things filed, and then put the scoot cards all around the room and make the modified keys. And then um, it's Friday. So we made it through the first week of first grade. They did a spectacular job. Really excited to be in this new environment and do all the things. So yeah, and then the next time I make a video, I should have my uh, tripod thingy. So it'll be a much more smooth video experience. Happy Friday.